Yeah, me and Melly, we ain't planning to make that song. He was working on mixed personalities with Kanye. We was in the studio, I pulled up to the Hit Factory in Miami. So I was walking up the stairs, I had some weed in my back pocket, like a whole zip. Boom, walking up the stairs. It fall out my back pocket. So when it fall, he pick it up. I never knew he was behind me the whole time, he pick it up. I walk in the room, in the little uh, studio room. He say, bro, you dropped your weed. I'm like, what the fuck? We end up walking in the studio, he like, bro, you know we gotta get some, right? Like, cause we from Florida. Rocco end up cutting on the beat, I told him to cut on. He was like, oh, this, this hard. I'm like, you wanna get on that beat? He was like, yeah, he ran up, jumped in there, and ran the whole thing off the dome. What all do you want from me? ARs and them two, two, threes. Fucking around with me, you see I'm hot, I'm 500 degrees. Heard he caught a body, but that does not mean shit to me. Got two on me, got two on me. When I first saw Glock, I just felt like he was the future. Something about him, something about his look, his style, the way he came on the track was just different than anything I heard in the, at the moment. You know, I felt his passion and the pain in his voice and just like, he's just real. Like, I feel like he's gonna be one of the biggest artists in the next 10 years, you know? Rock will be trying to make me look at it like that all the time. Uh, Glock, you're a star, man. Woo -woo. I tell him I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't really be, I don't know, like that. All that shit, all that, I see past that, I see who you is. Yeah, that's why I be telling people like, I ain't no celebrity. I'm a regular person, I'm just like you. Probably just got a little money. I'm two flows up on you niggas. I'm two flows up on you niggas, yeah. We were going through a time where he was working on this project. The label's like, you know, we need a record. So I was like, man, I, I know what he likes. So I'm like, I'm just gonna make a beat myself. And this was the first beat I made in years. Where I learned a lot of my stuff is I, I managed T-Pain. That was like the first artist that I managed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got man. my tall dog back here, Rocco Valdez. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, baby. I was in the studio with him all the time and he used to use Logic and I used to watch him and study that. His engineer is Javier. That was T-Pain's engineer for 10 years too. Well, you know? Javi, or probably sure. longer. So Javi kind of is the, the auto-tune master. So the one thing that he likes is a certain tempo. I know he likes 95 BPM. So I started off with a hi-hat. After I added the hi-hats, I went to, I added a snap. After that, I said, okay, it's slowly going together. I want to layer the snap with something because it wasn't strong enough. So I added the clap. After that, I added the kick. I layered it with another kick. I felt like a reggae vibe would be cool, like on this type of track. Um, so I went looking through some loops and I found this one loop. It was straight island vibes, but I was like, that doesn't sound great. So I worked on it and flipped it and this is what you get. Now, if, if I was to hit it though, like this, I start rapping two, two, three. Blood walk, baby. This is blood walk. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. That hook hard. So, next to me what is the most important part. This 808, I made myself. After the 808s, I was like, okay, this is done. And what's crazy is that since this is like the first beat back, I didn't even add like any EQ, any nothing. This was all just raw. So you really don't have to go crazy with effects and stuff if you just pick the right sounds to begin with. So my boy, my boy Rock, he hit me like, like I need to add. At first I was like, I do it now, like I don't know. Like I don't, I don't know what to say, you feel me? So he sent me, he sent me a tag. This ain't tag right here. Rocco did it again. Y'all won't believe that's his daughter. I was like trying to figure out what should my tag be. And I was like, asked my daughter Summer, if she could record uh, Rocco did it again. So now she thinks she's a star. <laughs> At first, I had got care I was getting carried away with uh doubling my vocals. I started doubling them, tripling them, quadrupling them. I was doing a lot of stuff to the thing. But I don't do all that no more though. 
Yeah, so here's the acapella of the song. What all do you want from me? ARs and them two, two, threes. Fucking around with me, you see. I'm hot on 500 degrees. Heard he caught a body. What well, that does not mean shit to me. Got two on me, got two on I me. Two, I two, I yeah, 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 so two, I two, I like black. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Never play, he get whacked. Okay. Like trying to find his face, ain't no tracing coming back. back. And after we put everything in, this is how it came out. Trying to find his face, ain't no tracing coming back. G9, Mr. Two Glocks, just bought a Mac. A Mac for your face, look, rearrange your cap. One foot in the industry, and one foot in the trap. Provide that dope to my bloodline, I treat him like my strap. Rocco sent to me on TikTok, he like Glock. This this lady, this female, she had, she got though, she got, I think she got one of the biggest TikToks account. He like, she just did a video to your uh, 223 song. He said, make a TikTok account. It's going, the song going crazy on her. Heard he caught a body, but that does not mean shit to me. Got two on me, got two on me. Blood gang, yeah, so who on me? Well, we is going to get the chance to run it back because my boy finna get out. But when he come home, it's going to be a lot more that came from. Florida boy. Florida boy, Florida boy. Mm-hmm, what he on, what he breathe, y'all. Hey, hey, I'm pushing P, pushing me and Ariana Grande got some working. I ain't gonna too much put that out there like that yet, but we got some coming real soon. Pop, pop star. <laughs>